Welcome to a food diary, what I eat in a week. This is without doubt always one of my most requested videos. It's something I really enjoy filming and it's something I enjoy watching to get inspiration, to be honest, for meal ideas. I'm not entirely sure that's what this is. This is just a documentation of what I eat as a very average girl that happens to be vegetarian that's trying to eat a balanced diet. Without further ado, let's flash back to the beginning of the week. I think this cheese is bad. No, it goes funny colour. No, it's crumbly. Admittedly, it looks a bit silly on this plate, but here is my lunch. We've gone for olives, grapes, and a cheese and chutney sandwich with a cup of coffee. Slay. It is my favorite time of day. It is dinner time and I am so hungry guys. And I said that I would cook tonight. Basically, we kind of alternate it a little bit. Obviously, I do live at home. So we kind of switch up who's cooking and tonight I am cooking a meal I am very excited about. And of course, it's by HelloFresh. Look at what arrived this morning. I'm very, very happy about this. It's definitely not new news that we are a HelloFresh family. We have been for years. Tom and I were getting HelloFresh when we were in Australia. My family were getting HelloFresh when we were away. A lot of our favorite recipes are honestly from these HelloFresh cards. Tonight, I'm very excited because I am gonna be cooking stovetop mac and cheese. You guys know how I feel about cheese. However, the other recipes this week that you're also probably gonna see in this video include this, which is a fragrant Thai style veggie curry and this which is a chipotle veggie chili dog. Never actually tried this HelloFresh before. This looks so good though so I'm really excited. I think I might do this tomorrow. Now if you are new to HelloFresh I'm going to introduce you but I'm sure you already know. It is a fresh food subscription service and it just makes your day to day life a little bit simpler. Like I say I'm veggie. I've been veggie for about three years now and I have so many great options to constantly be varying up what you're eating. It's great for trying new recipes and it's also really good for implementing into your day to day routine. This one for example. Can you see it? This is what I'm about to cook. This says it's ready in 20 minutes. When I am searching the HelloFresh website to select my weekly meals, I'm obviously selecting vegetarian and I'm also often picking quick and easy, but I also want to eat good food, which is what this always is. I want to share a discount code with you guys. That is obviously the best part of this. The code MOLLY2024 will get you 60% off your first HelloFresh box and then 25% off your next two boxes after that. That does also include free gifts. This offer is completely exclusive and for a limited time only, and it's open to new and existing customers that cancelled their subscription over 12 months ago. All of that information is going to be at the top line down in the description below as well. But right now, we're going to get on with cooking. Look at this step-by-step -step guide. Every single bit of info that you need is on here. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to add the water to this pan, which is for the pasta. Why does one little bit of pasta always escape? 12 minutes. Let's go. Looking pretty good. We are on this step, but I have also just finished grating the cheese, which just looks so good. Obviously, this is my favorite part of the mac and cheese, guys. Ask me if I ate any whilst I was grating it, I dare you. Alrighty, the pasta has been drained, it is cooling, and now it's time to make the sauce. I'm gonna press some garlic. This garlic press is literally like my favorite thing ever because it makes doing this so much less messy. I think you can just get them on Amazon, guys. Sorry, how satisfying. Okay, in goes the creme fraiche. This is literally like my favorite part. All right, next in is the Dijon mustard, which is actually what flavors a mac and cheese. Like I always forget that there's mustard in this, but there is, and it is what gives it its taste. You don't want to overdo it, but you do want to make sure you can taste it. And that's why HelloFresh is good because you've got the perfect amount. You're not gonna overdo it. It's not gonna taste just solely of mustard. In goes the cheese. Oh yeah. Now we're just stirring this all together really. Here is my finished dinner. Can you see that? I think that looks pretty good. It is mac and cheese. I've sprinkled some chili flakes over the top. I've also got a little salad at the side there with balsamic glaze over the top of it. This looks so good. Mac and cheese is one of my favorite meals as it is, but genuinely the recipe from HelloFresh is up there with some of my favorite mac and cheese I've ever tried. But I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this. I'm tipping it to show you and I'm like, oh my God, imagine I drop it on the floor. So instead of doing that, I am gonna serve up my mum and dad and we're gonna have this for dinner. I'll give you a verdict afterwards. But don't forget that the code MOLLY2024 will get you 60% off your first HelloFresh box and then 25% off your next two boxes after that. And I'm just gonna dig in. Mm, that is literally perfect. That is perfect. Is that a bit big headed? I don't even care. 
Good morning. You join me back in the kitchen. It's now Tuesday and it's breakfast time. You'll know if you've watched me for a while. I'm a porridge girl. Actually, I change it up. Basically, my breakfast routine usually goes, I find something I like. I have that every day for like three months. I get bored of that and I'll switch to something else and then I'll come back to it in a bit. Let me know what your go-to breakfast is because to be fair, I actually do find this meal probably like the most boring when I'm at home. I love going out for like brunch. Am I going to make myself avocado on toast for breakfast at home? Probably not. Am I going to make myself anything that requires any amount of effort for breakfast? Also, probably not. This is golden syrup porridge. The best, the best of the best. The creme de la creme of porridge. And then also recently, Free Soul very kindly sent me their Free Soul greens. And you might, you've probably seen this because it is all over TikTok. But if you haven't, it's basically just like a powder that you mix with water. And it has all of these things in it. When you read it, it's basically like your whole daily intake of greens, but it's mango flavored. And you're getting in literally 21 of your greens. And as that's not even the main cell for me, it's the vitamins that it's got in it. I am deficient in like iron, B12, all of those things. And this has all of that in. So I've been having this as my drink, only for a couple of days, very new to it. But also having a coffee as well, because one for energy, one for health, let's go. <laughs> There we have it, that is breakfast. Two drinks and some porridge. I have just been to get my eyebrows done, hence why they're so dark right now. And also I just grabbed some lunch in Costa. Didn't film in there, it was so busy. I'm actually in York because this was the nearest place I could get my eyebrows done this week, which is crazy. But anyway, I just thought I'll go to York, get that done, and then I'll sit and do some work, have some lunch. So I had a little fajita wrap in Costa. It was like a vegan one and it was nice. Probably wouldn't get it again. I had a coffee that was like three times the size of an average coffee, even though I only asked for a medium. So I feel I'm just gonna need a wee all afternoon. But that was what I had for my lunch. Eyebrows especially look really dark. They look a lot better than they did. Alrighty, it is dinner time. I'm back from running all of my various errands. And I think I showed you this last night. This is what I'm gonna cook. Tonight it is me, my mom, and Tom is coming to join us because my dad's not here tonight. And this, apparently, three of your five a day, you guys. That is pretty good. It's a veggie chili dog. Not actually sure where the dog is. She's over there. Oh, we're having hot dogs for tea. Are you a hot dog. Are you a hot dog. So basically we've got a chipotle chili mix going, which is going in the buns. This is actually in place of the hot dog. So it's not hot dogs at all. I totally read that wrong, but it looks really good. And then we've got a salad and an avocado and tomato mix to kind of put on top or at the side. I'm not sure, but it looks really good. It smells really nice as well. Chipotle always smells really good while it's cooking. So mix soy in. All right, so I forgot to film it and it really doesn't look much because I've covered it all in cheese. But it's a chili in a hot dog bun with avocado, tomato, salad, and kidney beans, basically. The cheese is part of the recipe though. Oh yeah, no, I've just yeah. put extra on it. Okay, what little snack do I have in an evening? What little snack can I not stay away from? This is my top choice, guys. It's always the biscuits, not gonna lie. The digestive a day, <laughs> she keeps the doctor away. Maybe not, but like a little sweet treat. You gotta have one. Okay, now I am not actually having this because I'm making this for Tom, but I thought I would just include this anyway because these are the best hot chocolates and like my go-to. These honestly, so good. The Hotel Chocolate Velvetizer. This one is the chocolate orange flavor. This is Tom's favorite. I would say my favorite one's probably just the plain milk chocolate one. I'm kind of just a boring plain milk chocolate kind of girl. And this is this. Looks good. Hey, ready guys? Had visions of that going all over the floor then. That just smells so good. It's not for me, but maybe a little... Tom won't mind. Good morning. It is Wednesday now, and I know literally yesterday morning, I think I said I just couldn't be bothered to make avocado and egg for breakfast. Well, this morning I woke up feeling bothered. We have avocado and we have eggs. I was like, you know what? It's kind of a bit more brunch today than it is breakfast. Like it is 10 a.m. I have not got up early to have breakfast today. So I think I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna make it. I'm also gonna have my green juice again. Also gonna have a coffee. And then this is definitely gonna be more of like brunch. So here's my avocado. I'm pretty sure it's at perfect ripeness. I really hope it is. And I'm just gonna scramble one egg and then have it all on one bit of toast, I think. Am I? Or am I gonna do two toasts? No, I'm gonna do one toast. That was like how to finesse an avocado. Look at that. That's actually insane. That looks 
looks pretty perfect. This is always how I cut an avocado, so then you can kind of just like pop it out so you don't have to like scrape it. Perfect. Also pretty perfect. To be fair, maybe I should have had one and a half. One and a half avocados on here, I think. Pretty perfect. Okay, so I accidentally put a little bit too much ketchup on it. And I also thought that we had paprika, but we don't. But this looks pretty good. Like, I'm pretty happy with that as like a breakfast. Solid option. Gonna make my drinks now. And uh, I don't think that's too bad. It is lunchtime. This really doesn't look that appetizing, but this is leaf and potato soup. Am I having a soup fizz? Not really. I haven't had soup in a while, but I do feel like this is a good winter lunch. I'm having this with my mum. Here she is. Is this one of the big pots from Aldi? Yeah, it's leaf, potato and cheddar cheese. And cheddar cheese. Oh, I missed the best bit. Yeah. My headband. <laughs> the headband. I keep forgetting I've got this on. I was tidying my office and forgot that I had that. Put it in my hair and here we are. This was the soup that I had for lunch. Didn't show you the thing, but this is basically what it looks like. To be fair, I think you could probably imagine. I have just walked the dog and come back and I was going to have a cup of coffee, but instead I have made a cup of berry tea. I was going to have peppermint. Basically, I couldn't decide what I wanted to drink and my mum was having one of these. I'm trying to get into teas that don't require milk because I drink a lot of coffee and tea, which is also down a lot of milk and I'm just not sure how like, good that actually is for my stomach, to be honest. I've got this cup of tea here. Um, apart from it sort of is giving hot Ribena and it sort of smells like it's just gonna taste like hot Ribena So I'm not 100% sure on this one I like peppermint tea and I like green tea, but I just would never pick them over breakfast tea Free from caffeine, I feel like maybe that's not a good thing either because I think I might need the caffeine Oh, easy Easy, I'm the waffle queen I said you Who do you think I get it from? Alrighty, it's dinner time and this is tonight's meal. Now the beginning of this video was sponsored by HelloFresh but they haven't asked me to include any of this stuff that is further on. We just genuinely have HelloFresh for dinner. And this is what we're having tonight. So we've got Thai style veggie curry which actually looks so good. You guys know how I feel about Thai food. Just me and my mum tonight so we're actually gonna end up with quite a lot of this because this is for three people but you know what? I'm hungry. That's fine by me. So this is how it looks, pretty much ready to serve up. And then at the side, being stolen by mum, I have a little thing of cashew nuts, which are gonna go on the top. My favorite thing about Thai food really is that it's got peanuts and cashews and like all of the nuts in, which I actually think make it just such a good flavor. This has so much peanut butter in it, which I am very happy with, because I do love, I do love peanut butter. I mean, it never really looks much, but it does, I think it looks pretty good. You just have to imagine how it tastes. It's like carrots, green bean, greens, <laughs> green beans, peppers, lemon, lime, rice, and cashew nuts and then obviously coconut sauce with peanut butter and spice good also drink of choice always no judgment i want to hear no judgment for the tonic water <laughs> morning it is early early doors it is currently 7 a.m i am up ready to go out i'm heading to london today because liv is having like a birthday meal all of my friends are going down i'm also catching up with another friend beforehand so i'm going down early so that i can get into london for lunchtime so that i can meet this other friend basically my friend freya from australia has just moved back to london and i'm catching up with her so because it's early see my breakfast this is my breakfast. <laughs> this is a chocolate fudge cereal bar and I'm also gonna take a banana for the train. And that is honestly probably it until I get into King's Cross and then I'm gonna get a coffee um, because I'm getting the direct service. I don't think there's even anywhere I can get a coffee because I don't know if they're doing them on the train anymore. But like usually if I have to change at Hull or if I have to change at Doncaster, I'll like pick up a coffee in the station, but not today. Okay, I did just get a coffee and another cereal bar because that cereal bar was not really uh, filling me up. So from here, I didn't voice anything else over, but we went to Club Mexicano, which is in Kingly Court. It's basically an entirely plant-based Mexican restaurant. So ever in London, I really recommend it. This is Kingly Court. There's so many good eateries here. And then this was the last food clip that I filmed because me and my friends spend the evening just hanging out, having a couple drinks. This is the only video I got. So this is basically where the video ends. So that concludes this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. There is so much mess behind me. So we're gonna move back to this angle. But if you have enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. As I mentioned at the beginning, the link to Hello Fresh will be the top line in the description down below. Do check that out if you are interested. I really do recommend it. And it's an amazing discount. Other than that, you guys shall see me back on my channel next week. I have a video from my trip to Scandinavia. So that's gonna be really fun. That's gonna be next on my channel. Make sure you subscribe down below so that you don't miss it. And if you haven't watched my Monopoly series that finished this week, there are five pretty 
decent-ish, I hope, videos on my channel that my brother and I actually spent ages working on and I'm very proud of. I shall see you next time. Bye guys!